What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install outdated plugins or extensions in Visual Studio 2022 and of course in future versions. Essentially, plugin developers or extension developers don't always update their extensions to work with the brand new versions of Visual Studio. In this case, I was trying to get tab 9 to work, seeming though GitHub Copilot is now paid. Long story short, while I can install it and some of the features work, not everything works as intended. So do keep that in mind. If you're trying to upgrade certain extensions to work with newer versions of Visual Studio, it's not exactly guaranteed that they'll work as expected, but you'll see that it's mostly working here. For much more simple extensions, however, it should be working just fine. So first of all, you'll need to download the VSIX extension file from the Visual Studio Marketplace. More than likely, you'll need to Google search for VS Marketplace and open marketplace.visualstudio.com and make sure you're on the Visual Studio tab at the very top. I'll be searching for tab 9 in here just as an example. They haven't actually updated it and they haven't done so for quite some time. So this is definitely something that only works for previous versions of Visual Studio. After finding and clicking on the plugin here, we get a big download button, which I'll click, and you can see it works with VS 2019, not VS 2022. If I try and open the VSIX file we just downloaded, you'll see this error on the screen here. Extension is not compatible. Awesome. So I'll open up my downloads folder and you'll see the VSIX file. I'll simply place this on my desktop here. Now, all you need is either 7-zip or WinRAR installed, and I'll be right-clicking this file, then we'll be opening it with 7-zip or WinRAR. And as you can see, it's simply just a zip file with a bunch of files inside of it. Essentially, we'll be opening some of these in plain text editors, and I'll be changing some numbers inside of them. Of course, this isn't guaranteed to work. Usually, it'll be catalog.json, manifest.json, and extension.vsix manifest. All of these will be opening with plain text editors, and we'll be editing the numbers inside of them. So I'll open catalog.json with notepad, and here it is on my screen. All we need to do is look for 17, which in this case is Visual Studio 2019. 16, I think, is 2016 or 2017, whatever the one before this was. Essentially, Visual Studio 2022 is 18. So I'll simply raise the number here. This way, it's compatible with anything between VS 16 and VS 18, which is Visual Studio 2022. Looking for any more copies of 17, there are none, so I'll save this, and this file should be compatible with Visual Studio 2022. Then I'll drag in manifest.json to open it up, and I'll be searching once again for 17. There is one copy of 17 here, so I'll change this to 18, save, and once again, I'll go to the last file, in this case, extension.vsix manifest. Looking for 17, we can see here 16 to 17. I'll make this 18, and there's another copy down here, 18. There we go, there should be no other copies. I'll save this, and all we need to do is open the vsix installer once more with 7 zip or WinRAR, and we'll be dragging all of these files back in, but we'll then be replacing them. And congratulations, just like that, we've now modified it to work with a newer version of Visual Studio, albeit rather glitchy, if at all. I'll double click on this over here, and you'll see that it starts installing, and it'll even let me install all the way through. There we go, install for VS 2022. There we go, it'll close it and start installing it. This does take some time, so I'll skip forward. There we go, I can click close now that it's successfully installed and I'll open Visual Studio 2022. Opening my latest project, my Techno Account Switcher, you'll see things load pretty much as per normal, lots is happening in the background and eventually a new browser window should pop up prompting us to sign into, in this case, tab nine. If it was a different extension doing different things, whatever it would do, it would probably do right about now. Of course, I don't really know how to trigger this, so it just takes some time to pop up. In my case, I'll head to extensions, then manage extensions, while this laggy editor still opens up. And you should see in just a moment in the install tab over here of Visual Studio 2022, I have an incompatible plugin installed here. This is the one that we edited the version on. This version is not compatible with Visual Studio 2022, and who knows when the compatible version will be coming out. Anyways, it's now installed and it should be working properly. No sign of a welcome page just yet, but if I open up my home folder, start R and sign of him, enter percentage, user profile percentage, backslash dot tab nine and open up this folder, you'll see that I have logs in here, last edited now, and of course an extension log inside of here. 
Previously, I was able to log in here, but it seems that this welcome page is taking a lot longer to start up now. Regardless, it did work previously for me, although only half worked. Opening this text file here, scrolling down to the very bottom, you'll see the reason that I was getting no code suggestions, seems to be stuck in initializing for now, was this over here. It was just looping through an error, essentially while it's trying to get the active document. I would assume that whatever API endpoint this is, Visual Studio 2022 has this changed and the plugin isn't yet compatible with it, but it was half working, at least at that. So simple plugins will usually work. More extensive, complicated plugins like Tab 9, AI code editors, etc. will probably not work, but it's worth a shot, especially if you're trying to get something really old to work in a newer version of Visual Studio. There's thousands of cases that this works for, and just as many cases, or if not more, where this doesn't work. In my case, it doesn't work, so I'll simply extensions, manage, and I'll be uninstalling this and closing out of it, as it just simply doesn't work for me. But regardless, we successfully installed it, and now we can successfully even uninstall it in an unsupported newer version of Visual Studio, and that really is about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.